Growing up, I played soccer. Soccer was the sport back home in Nigeria. Everybody played soccer. So one day I was just walking to school and this basketball coach saw me and he said, wow, you're very tall. Uh, why don't you come check out this sport? It's called basketball. I've never heard of it before. I was kind of hesitant at first. Two weeks later, I went and he said, all right, take off your slippers and uh, we'll show you how this is done. And I started jump stopping, doing the basics of basketball with my bare feet. And uh, that was how I started playing basketball, really. Before you know it, I was here in the U.S. also, you know, playing basketball. My name is Joel Adese. I am a senior, majoring in political science and accounting. I grew up in a village with my grandparents in Nigeria. Then I moved to the city with my mom. Uh, lost my dad when I was uh, in a very tender age, so I didn't get to quite know him very well. Well, my mom is very strict. She actually laid the foundation, you know, of how I should be as a man. So that really was how I grew up and that has helped in the long run, coming here to the US for high school and also college. I'm the first child in my family, so I want to really set the bar really high, especially for my two younger brothers. So they really motivate me as well to keep on going. Even when I was coming to the US, my mom was really focused on my academics. She said, go to the US, I want you to study hard. You want to go to law school, study hard, you go to law school and all of that. The game was just kind of like a secondary option, really. So when I came to high school here in a Catholic school, uh, my mom really was vouching for me to go. She said, yeah, this would be good for you. Let's just give it a shot. I got taught, you know, the X and O's of the religion and it, it spoke to me, so to say. So I was like, you know, I'm old enough. I was 18 at that, at that time, you know, I made the, the choice to become Catholic and I got baptized. And yeah, that has really helped a lot transitioning into Benedictine College for sure. Through AAU basketball, I was able to be noticed by Coach Moody, the basketball coach here at school. Oh, it was easy for me to choose Benedictine. The fact that it's a Catholic school, that was almost a given. Just the environment, the people you talk to outside of the locker room, it's a constant reminder, you know, not to forget your faith. So I go here at Benedictine, ultimately to study political science and, you know, gear my career towards a law school. Uh, why basketball helped propel that. Even my coach sometimes thinks uh, I'm a little crazy. You know, I play basketball, I double major, uh, I take on heavy uh, hours. I look at it from the perspective of the classes. It's seven classes and I think I can handle that. For me, it's doable. With the law degree, I really would like to apply that back home the political situation in the country isn't really the best. I want to go back home and do the best I can. But one man cannot change it all, but I just do the best I can. Going forward, I'm scared in a good way. It's kind of overwhelming to think of, but I'm at the same time really optimistic because knowing my background and how, how I've been brought up, I know I can do it. I know I can get to that goal. Moving from one country to another, it's just a bump in the way. It's, the goal is always there, but you just have to cross a few hurdles to get there. I can see the goal. I can see the end of it. So uh, just having that goal is what really motivates me. And also those people who have helped me along the way, I don't want to let them down. So that also motivates me to keep on pushing for that goal.